Another part of this experiment is determination of bending losses of the given optical fiber. So to do this part, we are using the formula loss is equal to P in minus P out units are decibels per meter. So in this formula, what is P in and P out? P in is the input power, light which is transmitted through the optical fiber. P out, output power, light which is received from the optical fiber. So coming to the tabular column. So this is the tabular column, required tabular column. So the first column indicates input power, second column indicates output power. So input power is nothing but output power of the optical fiber before bending. Output power is nothing but output power of the optical fiber with bending. Right. So how to do this procedure? For that we are using the same optical tyner board and again I am connecting this 1 meter length of the optical fiber to the light source by keeping the high intensity with the help of this knob. So this is the high intensity and the second end of this optical fiber I am connecting to the photo detector. You know the role of detector which detects the light and whose intensity will convert into optical power form. That power can be measured with the help of this digital optical power meter whose terminals are here. Red indicates positive, black indicates negative. And these are the terminals of your detector. Red is positive, black is negative. Now, to take the readings in the digital output power meter, we need to connect uh, this power meter and detector in parallel. Parallel means positive of the power meter to positive of the detector, negative of the power meter to negative of the detector. Right. Now, you can see the power readings in the output power meter. So, let us start the experiment. So, to do this bending losses, so first reading we are going with input optical power, input optical power that is nothing but output power of the optical fiber without bending. For that you need to stretch the optical fiber cable like this, avoid as much as possible bends. So, like this you need to hold the cable after holding with the help of this intensity knob you can adjust one intensity in the power meter. So that is called your input power. So first I am going with uh, any one value you can adjust. So some minus 105.6 or 5 I just fixed that value in the power meter this is your P in. So I will write here minus 105.5 minus 105.5. So for that input power, I am going to bend my optical fiber cable. How can I bend? I need another device called mandrel. So with the help of this device, I am going to bend my cable. So like this. So like this, you just bend for one turn. So like this, you hold the cable and note down the reading in the output power meter. So, this is what the output power of the optical fiber with one turn bend that is equal to minus 105.1. Next, for the second time, I am going to bend my optical fiber cable with the help of the model two turns. For two turns, again note down the power reading in the power meter. It is showing minus 106.2 write it down here. Next go for three bends. So for three turns again the value changed minus 108.2. So minus 108.2 write it in the place of three turns column. Now for four turns. So for four turns you got the power meter reading minus 108.7 minus 108.7. So I have just taken for four bends readings here. So after taking all these readings I need to do the average. Add all these four divided by four you will get the mean reading. So after getting this mean this is what your output power. So how can I elaborate this? So output power of the optical fiber with bending. This is what your P out. Now substitute this P in and P out in the loss formula. Loss is equal to P in minus P out. 
you will get one value here. So I have already taken those readings. I'll show you that one. So this is what with respect to my uh, input power minus one ten point eight. So these are all bending readings and p in p out. The difference I got it here. This is what my loss. So likewise, you need to go for the second reading. So when you are going to start the second reading, what you have to do again same procedure. You need to stretch the cable like that and again adjust the intensity knob. Earlier we have taken minus one out five point five. Now I'll go with the minus one ten point five. Any one reading you can adjust, which gives some difference between previous reading to this reading. So now I'm going with minus one ten point five. So for this input power, again you go with the same procedure. Take the mandrel, bend your cable for one turn. Note down the one turn reading, two turns, three turns, four turns, and so on. Write all the readings in the respective places. Calculate the mean and p in p outs. Do the loss p in minus p out. So likewise, you need to go with three, uh, four to five inputs, four to five input powers. And measure the output power. Finally, calculate the loss. After calculating all these losses, do the average. So add all these five divided by five. You will get the average loss. So this is what my average loss for my readings: 0.42. The units for measuring losses are here decibels per kilometer. And one more point: here minus sign indicates the loss sign representation. Loss representation. Minus sign represents the losses representation. So coming to the result. So finally, I will write the result. The numerical aperture of the given optical fiber is average value zero point eight five, and uh, the bending losses of the given optical fiber is zero point four two decibels per kilometer. No units for measuring the numerical aperture. That's all. Thank you.